Hi everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are as always your hosts Arne and Carlos and we are back with the 23rd episode of our Stucking Along and we've got with us Rob, Donnie, Susie and Fran, the little uh, bullfinches that keep us company uh, yeah. here in November and it is lovely looking out the window and seeing these uh, cute little birds. Uh, they're always there, always ready to hang out with us. They're very Christmassy. They are very Christmassy. Especially the male ones, because they have that red breast. Mm. The females are brown, light brown, I think, or mm -hmm. gray, gray, yeah. So it's all, but they're all Christmassy. It's yeah. all Christmas. And we've got our lovely view as well, with all the trees and the snow, and the sun's out today, which is quite lovely. <laughs> so another perfect November day, as you can see, if you look out the window. That uh, way. That way. Yeah. <laughs> And anyway, the other way is another story. That's a completely different story. <laughs> anyway, we're back with our stocking along. It's been 22 days and today we are going to reveal the final part of the stocking and then uh, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. So we've got two days. We're going to go into the heel. Yeah. And uh, our goal this year is to get everybody, whether you're a new beginner, an advanced knitter or, you know, I mean, Whoever you are, we want to get you through the heel and we want you to succeed with your stocking. We want to make sure that before December 1st, your stocking is ready so that you can get it stuffed with all those lovely gifts. Yeah, so we will show you everything when it comes to picking up the stitches. Yeah, and if you're very inspired, uh, you could always go to our web shop and get another stocking and a second one doing six rows a day starting tomorrow no starting uh december 1st <laughs> you could do 24 uh yeah. six times 24 you'd be finished by the christmas day yeah yes. so that's and an remember, idea it's free until the first of december yeah the this stocking along this is stocking free. along so i don't know if people can hear it but we have a rainstorm again again yeah i think we have had that like maybe two two times or yeah yeah but, but this, it's lovely. It's so nice. <laughs> I do enjoy the rain this time of the year. We're not telling you what time of the year is. No, you could guess. That's you a could, secret. you know, put it down in the comments below if you, you know, if you guess, and we'll see if we reveal maybe it or not. Maybe when they watch the video where, when I am knitting, mm. maybe that, uh, what do you say, uh, reveal reveal something mm. because of my fingernails. Maybe it's really hard to keep them clean this time of the year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't cut off more. <laughs> mm. Okay. Okay, so today is the reveal of the final six rounds of the stocking itself. Um, and uh, let's go backwards. So uh, we started with the toe that looks like that. Actually, it's not six this time, it's 11. Okay, so it's a very special day today. Yeah. So, anyway, here are the six rows that we have completed from December. Sorry, from November 1st until November 22nd. So here you are. Here is where the heel will go. And here is the design with the hearts. And then we've got the lovely bells. And then we continue upwards. And voila! Today was, uh, as Arne said, 11 rounds of um, knit and pearl. Yep. Ribbing, I, I believe maybe one round of... Yes, yeah, so one round with the only knit and yeah. then... 10 rounds with two knit and two pearl. And, and then finish off with a lovely little... Uh, yeah, we put that all on the same time. I think maybe this is 12 or something. Yeah. I'm not sure because this is, um, this is actually up to you, depending on where you want to hang the stocking. Yeah. If you want a bigger loop, make a bigger one. So this, this loop is, a, is a chain stitch, is chain in crochet. Stitches. Now, if you don't crochet, if you've never done a chain stitch and you don't want to do a, stain, a chain stitch, you could get a red ribbon yeah. and you could uh, pull the red ribbon with the help of a needle through a couple of stitches and then you can tie a beautiful bow. Or you can do the finger crochet. It's or you like, can do a finger crochet. Is that what you call it? Yeah. Keep, keep, what kids did in school? Yeah. You pull the yarn through a loop. So you've got options really. Yeah. Um, and really just taking a, a bow and a, and a needle, pulling it through, tying it. A ribbon, sorry, and then doing that is also super nice. Uh, it would look great. But anyway, we've done a we've done chains, and uh, it turns out like this. See it there behind my glasses. Yeah. <laughs> or in front of my glasses. Yeah. So this and concludes the whole stocking design, and now there is no more mystery to reveal, except that we've got the heel, the heel. that we will be working in for two days. What color it will be? I don't know, but we'll see tomorrow, we'll see I guess, tomorrow. when uh, 
when we come back with the stocking heel part one and part two and we aim to finish the stocking on uh, the 25th of november so day 25 of yep. the knit along mm -hmm. now um because we're already finished with this part you can see so uh, it is actually gonna be so that that's where that's the heel is. that's where the heel's Inside. gonna be and um, this is what the stocking will look like uh pretty much in a couple of days time you have to remember when you put on the crochet uh, loop that you put it in the center back mm. but you see that from the scrap yarn because yeah that is two needles and then you fold it so the middle so yeah remember that the so mid the center of the scrap yarn has to align let's see if we can do it like that so the center of the scrap yarn has to al align with the place where the hanging loop is so, so that it is the correct. in the middle of that the, yeah. uh, the bell mm -hmm. that's and very important because very if, important. if you get the loop on the wrong side it will be strange yeah i guess so you can knit your 11 uh, you can knit your 11 rounds today one round of stocking at 10 rounds of ribbing knit and pearl and after is it two knit two pearl i believe two, two knit, knit two, pearl, two pearl yeah pearl. and yeah. after you do that you can always sew in your threads we haven't done that yet uh but i think that we're going to be sewing in the threads remember though not to sew in these uh because we're going to, you know, show you how to remove this mm. in the correct way tomorrow. And also remember when you bind off the rib, do it loosely so you don't get a tight rib. Even though you're not going to wear it, but you want to have more or less the same elasticity on the whole yeah. piece. But I think, um, like this time, I, I don't know, I think I, I'm knitting for half an hour maybe. Mm. Inclusive, the, including the crochet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so it was so, a little longer today. So maybe you get more knitting this time. It's all yeah. up to Eric. Yeah, see what he do. We'll see what he does. <laughs> um, and then, and then, on a final note, uh, I mean, we're not going to do the we're not going to do the finishing touches right now. We're going to do the finishing touches after we do the heel. However, because we're doing two heel episodes, we're not going to be coming back to the stocking again. After that, you know, by the time we do the second heel episode, this knit along will be over and it will be November 25th. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the finishing touches afterwards. Um, so we're going to do the, we're going to weave in the ends, obviously. Um, and once we weave in the ends, we are going to take out a little towel. Yep. We are going to uh, get the towel all wet. And then we're going to put the towel on top of the um, of the stocking and we're going to press gently with uh, the highest heat possible uh, when the iron hits the towel uh, it will create a lot of steam because this, the towel will be mm. wet and the steam will go right into the uh to the knitting it will make sure that all the stitches pop into place yeah. it will make everything look really nice and really even and you can also stretch the whole thing a little bit before you steam yeah. it in case the stitches are a little bit wonky, wonky. Yeah, and and wonky, wonky. <laughs> and do this thoroughly. I mean, do do spend a little time doing this thoroughly. Uh, do it once flat this way, and then take your stocking, and then do that, and then do it again this this way, and then try to even out if you get creases. Try to even them out so that they disappear. Yeah. And don't, don't don't touch the rib. The rib. Don't that's all. That's all we ask you. Whatever you do. Don't touch the no, rib. Because if it flattens out, mm. it's probably flat forever. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the way we would finish it. Um, there is other ways of, of doing it. Pe some people like to just soak it um, and pin it up. But we Scandinavians, we feel like we need to be a little bit more efficient <laughs> and uh, do it as quickly as possible and without any hassle. And without, you know, like we don't want to waste space either. No. So uh, a quick steam, very thoroughly. Is all you need, uh, really. Yeah, if you have an iron. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> that goes without saying. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't have an iron, maybe you'll have to wash. Mm. So, I think that's it. I think that's it for today. Yeah. We do have a competition that we're going to talk about. Yep. And uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. With a longer video. With a longer video. Uh, heel part one and part two. Don't miss it. Uh, remember this knit along is free until December 1st you can get the pattern for free and uh, any questions about the sock heel we want to see them down in the comments below and we want people to answer them for other people if you know the answer please <laughs> feel free to help us we need all the help we can get as we are so busy right now anyway competition time here we come <laughs> 
So we've got a really cool competition running this year uh, where we will randomly select a lucky winner who will win uh, our latest uh, e-booklet that we have done for Rowan uh, and enough of the Rowan Norwegian wool yarn to knit one of the sweaters from this uh, e-booklet in any size they want. Yeah, and the inspiration for this collection is Svalbard. So we have the husky sweater, we have the dog sledge, we have cables and we have polar bears. And the only thing you have to do is to answer this question. How many books have we published? Yep, that's the question uh, for this year. And uh, we want you to put the answer in the comments down below. It's a number we're looking for. And we're going to give you a little hint. Uh, Wikipedia is not um, a reliable source. Uh, so you may want to look elsewhere if you want to get the correct answer. Yeah. And uh, you can put the answer down preferably once uh, per day. Uh, during this knit along and that will increase uh, your chances but please do not put the answer more than once per day because then you will be ghosted by YouTube and you do not want that to happen. So once a day is pretty much enough and uh, we will announce the lucky winner um, in December so this will be um, a fine Christmas well one person will get a really fine Christmas prezi from Arne and me in the post as well. Yes. So remember to like and subscribe and if you're a subscriber put on that notification bell because then you won't miss the episode. Yep and make sure to interact with our content as that really helps us here on YouTube. And uh, last but not least uh, for additional content uh, make sure to look at the uh, offer that we have for members. Uh, becoming a member means that you will get 15-minute uh, catch-ups with us every week. Uh, we do live streams where we offer our knitting help and expertise. We've got shenanigans in the kitchen and shenanigans, well actually <laughs> shenanigans pretty much wherever we Everywhere. go. Um, and then there's fun uh, things like badges and emojis and other kind of content like that. So um, if you want to become a member or if you want to consider it, all you need to do is visit our channel at Arna Carlos, go to the subscribe button and next to the subscribe button you've got a join button. Join uh, by clicking and then selecting your tier and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you uh, for that additional content as well. And if not, it's perfectly okay. We look forward to seeing you here every day uh, for our knit along and then for our usual episodes on Sundays. Yes. Yeah. So. so thank you for watching and we will catch up with you very, very soon again. Bye. Bye.